How can catching other species of fish make you a better bass fisherman? We're going to talk about that. Welcome back to another episode of 5-Minute Fish Talk. Mmm. Coffee's delicious, wouldn't you agree? Five minutes on this timer, you know what that means. Boop! I'm a poet. It's time to get real. Okay, we're talking about multi-species today. I know, this is an interesting topic. I'm actually really excited to talk about this one because it kind of makes me think about my past and some of my, you know, my fishing buddies from back home. My fishing buddies from back home, a lot of the best bass fishermen that I know actually started out fishing for different species. One of my, my old fishing partner in college, he actually did a lot of crappie fishing in his youth, and that really helped develop him as an angler, and he is one of the best bass fishermen that I know in the world. And then my old boss did a lot of trout fishing and did a lot of white bass fishing and a lot of other types of species. Really, he was just a total multi-species angler. And then I've even got people that I know that did a lot of walleye fishing. The list goes on and on and on here, but some of my best bass fishing peers have always come from different backgrounds with regards to fishing techniques. So we'll get to kind of the specifics of that in a minute, but for now I do want to share a little bit about my story. Now I tend to be a bass fisherman through and through. When I really started getting into fishing, it was always about bass. You know, I've chased other species in the past. I try to do a little bit more these days, but really, I eat, sleep, and breathe bass fishing. Okay, but there have been a couple examples. Crappie fishing. You know, I actually did a little bit of crappie fishing during the winters back home, and that was a lot of fun. And it taught me some things. Crappie tend to line up on deeper brush piles on structure during the winter, and so you have to fish a jig vertically through those brush piles. Well, that taught me a lot of things, and we're gonna get to that in a minute. Um, but the other th example would actually be white bass fishing with a spoon. Um, or wipers um, with a topwater. Um, but I did a lot of spoon fishing back in high school when I worked for my old boss who happened to make spoons. And I would just, you know, be out there on structure and I'd be ripping a spoon and I would learn a lot. So that brings me to my next point. You know, one of the things that multi-species can help you a lot with is fishing techniques. So in the crappie example, what did I learn? I learned a lot about how to bring a lure through brush without getting hung up. I also learned a lot about schooling fish because crappie are mega schools. They all line up in one area. You normally don't catch one crappie and move to the next spot. You normally catch a lot of crappie and move to the next spot. Um, the other, and then, and then with regards to the white bass example, again, it was a schooling fish. It was out on structure. It taught me a lot about how to position a boat on structure, offshore structure, and how to fish a spoon, how to fish other baits that are out deep, and how to feel those bites. So there's numerous, numerous things that you can learn from these fish. Let's say for trout, for example, if you're fishing in stream for trout, what do you learn? You learn a lot about current and how fish position in that current. If you're fishing for a walleye, you might learn a lot about how fish are positioning on flats. But the other thing you might actually learn, and this brings me to my number two point, is ecosystem findings. How do fish interact? Because you've got a walleye here, you got catfish, you got crappie, you got bass, you got... The fact of the matter is, is these these fish all live in the same area, and a lot of them eat the same food. And so sometimes, I don't know if you have noticed that, this ever before, but sometimes you'll have a lake really, really dominated by one species. If you're lucky, it's bass. But some lakes are really, really dominated by one species, and that's because that population got so big, and they started dominating all the bait fish, and the other species started slowly dying off because they can't keep up. Ideally, your conservation you know, efforts in the area aren't going to allow that to happen, but regardless, it does. It's because a lot of these fish actually do compete. And so if you're fishing for multi-species and you're learning more about how they interact, you might learn about what areas are gonna be best for bass. Because bass and walleye and all that, they're probably not gonna be in the exact same area. They might be close, but they're not gonna be in the exact same area. And you are gonna be able to hone your skills in accordingly. Now again, here's my conclusion. I'm not a good enough multi-species angler at this point. You know, I've got a lot of good fishing in my area. Northern pike, muskie, steelhead, salmon, the list goes on and on and on. I would love to get out and fish for these fish more and learn more about them. And I think I'm going to do that. But what else is it going to do for me? It's actually going to make me a better bass fisherman just from going out and chasing those other fish. I would encourage you to do the exact same thing in your areas. If you have a crappie lake that you really want to go catch some fish on, go catch some crappie, and by doing so, you might actually become a better bass fisherman. So you know what I'm going to say next, right? Have yourself a fantastic weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next time.